So you're online looking for a new pair of shoes, see a beautiful pair, click through, you want to go grab them and you get a little bit of sticker shock. Those shoes are $400. Now you're used to going to a big department store, getting your shoes for 40 bucks and you're wondering what in the world is the difference? Are these $400 shoes, do they have gold inside of them or something? Guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk with you, I'm going to give you seven key things to look for so that you can buy the right shoes for you. Make sure that you get the best quality that you can afford. And I want to clearly show you the difference between a $40 pair of shoes and a $400 pair of shoes. Gentlemen, I get it. I know many of you guys want to get the best shoe for your money or you want me to take all these different brands I've looked at and rank them from 1 to 15, but that's the wrong question. The right question is what is the right shoe for you? I want you to use these seven points to go out there and just to identify, you know, I find that this brand because of its customer service, because of the shape of the last, because the way it makes me feel, because of my connection to the company that I'm going to go ahead and spend that money with it. The number one difference between quality dress shoes and cheap dress shoes is build quality. Quality dress shoes are built to last. These are made so that over time, over your lifetime, they're going to look better. It's one of the reasons you see princes and kings who could afford a new pair of shoes every time they wear a pair of shoes actually stick with shoes for 15 to 20 years. Over time, it actually develops character. Also, what we'll see with high quality shoes is they're stitched together. The sole and the upper are going to either be Goodyear welted or Blake stitched together. But what with cheap shoes you're going to see? You're going to see an upper that is not made to last. It's going to start to peel despite taking care of it. You're going to see actually the upper and the sole are glued together, not stitched together. And so over time, they're going to separate. You're going to see a sole that's made from an inferior material that basically just starts to fall apart on you. Guys, that is the key difference between quality shoes and cheap shoes. Difference number two between high quality dress shoes and cheap dress shoes is going to be the material used in the construction. So in higher quality dress shoes, what we're going to see is yes, the actual sole will use a better quality material than cheaper dress shoes. The stitching even, yes, even the thread here is going to be made to be able to last for a long time, sometimes 20 to 30 years before you would have to have this restitch. The metal that goes into the buckles, in this case, this double monk strap, that is going to be of better quality. But at the leather guys, this is where the, you're really going to see the difference. High quality dress shoes, they're going to use a non-recycled leather, which is actually going to maintain its form, come from basically a stock of animal that is shown to actually be able to produce a great product for the shoe, uh, no imperfections low quality, cheap dress shoes. What we're going to see, sometimes they don't even use leather. They will say it's a leather imitation. Uh, and what is going to happen is when you polish it, even if you take care of it, it is over time going to degrade, fall apart. Uh, if it's a lower quality leather, it can start to crack despite actually taking care of it. So that is one of the key differences in the materials. The third factor I'm going to talk about in the difference between high quality and cheap dress shoes is handwork. Basically all the attention to detail that goes into the construction. So let's take it to an extreme end. Custom shoes. Those are going to be expensive. I've seen people buy custom shoes for $5,000, for $1,000. But understand if you're going to get something made for one person that has it, everything is made from scratch, there's a lot of handwork in that versus something that they make. 10,000 of them by machine, you're going to find that that's going to drive down the price. Now, when I look at shoes individually, I'm oftentimes like this pair right here made by JL Rocha down in Leon, Mexico. Um, I look at the broguing right in here. I look at the double stitching, all the attention to detail on the cap toe right here. But I can tell you also the country of origin has a huge effect coming from England, coming from Italy, coming from the United States, coming from Mexico, you're going to see different price points. Now, do I think one country has a monopoly on making amazing shoes? No. I think you can find diamonds anywhere out there. I've worked with these guys and I'm going to link to them down below because I got a really good discount code for them. I met these guys years ago and I've probably got like seven pairs of their shoes in my office. I've worn them, I've examined them and I found that I really like the craftsmanship and the work detail. But guys, that's going to be a key factor in 
in the price. The fourth factor I want to talk about which can affect both price and quality is going to be run size. So anyone with a manufacturing background knows what I'm talking about where you've got to set up all the machines, get everyone trained up to make one particular run. Now a lot of higher end companies are going to make 25 to 50 pairs. Uh, and again, these are going to be very limited, select and what's cool about this is that they can inspect every shoe that basically comes off the line. The bad part about this, it's expensive. Think about, you know, because it requires as much time and effort to make or to set things up for 25 shoes as it does for 25,000. But the problem with 25,000, even though you can knock the price down and that may look like an advantage, is you can't inspect every single one of those shoes or at least most companies don't. What they do is they inspect a certain percentage of them and they spot but you have quality control issues sometimes with a lot of those higher end numbers and manufacturings. So with cheap shoes, oftentimes you're going to see defects. With high quality shoes, you shouldn't see any defects and if they do, you should be able to immediately return them and get an exchange or get your money back. So factor five here, this really focuses in on price and that is what type of margin does the company want to get because of the risk they're taking with the shoe that they're putting out. And a lot of companies, they know that, okay, we're going to put out something fashion forward, maybe something the market hasn't seen, could get really hot, could sell a lot of them and therefore they're going to add quite a bit of margin onto it, meaning that they're going to charge more for the shoe. They want to make more money with it and they're going to put this out there. But understand they're taking a risk and they they realize you know that they may lose on it therefore that's why they want to be able to make more money in the case that if it fails well if they're putting out like three or four of these that the law of averages is going to give them at least a decent return on their money versus a company that's putting out a tried and true classic well in that case they know that okay this thing isn't going to fly off the shelves but it at least is going to sell and they're going to in this case maybe be willing to take a much smaller margin so factor six in the difference between high quality and cheap dress shoes is brand. And I know a lot of you guys are waiting for this one. If you have an established brand, you have an established history, a reputation in the market, you can charge more and in a sense, there's just certain expectations that come with your brand. If you are John Lobb, if you are Churches, if you are Cheney, you're going to actually be able to charge different price points for your shoes. And that's one of the reasons why I love up and coming brands because like JL Rocha, which I'm going to link to down below, have a great discount for, they're coming into the market wanting to establish themselves and that's why I'm able to give you such a great discount. I worked with other companies, Ace Marks, Paul Evans, these are all up and coming brands which maybe don't have the name cliche of what, what is this? Alan Edmonds. They don't have the name of, you know, Alden shoes, but you, you can still get a great product for the price. Point number seven, look at the distribution model. I firmly believe that if a company is in close contact with its customers, it's going to provide better service and a better product. You want a company that you can actually buy from directly and yeah, maybe you could go into another store and they also distribute that way, but understand that if they're distributing through big box stores, through department stores, that they are, there's always got to be a markup. And in that case, you know, you may go in and think you're getting, oh, $200 pair of dress shoes and they're on sale for $100. Well, understand that that department store probably bought them for $50 and that they they were gosh, 25 bucks to make because everyone's got to make their margin. None of these companies are a charity, but I do believe that being able to buy something directly from a company is one of the best, I think one of the best hacks that nowadays, and you could, it's better customer service. You can engage with them because if they sell you a bad product, you get to tell them directly that they've so you watch your money back. You can get a charge back, whatever it may be. Guys, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Go check out the article, a lot more information and go check out JL Rocha. So, I've been working with Jose Luis, an amazing discount. This company is meeting on pretty much everything I just talked about. They're going directly to the consumer. They are trying to build up a brand because they haven't fully established it yet. That's why they're able to give you the discount that I've got for you guys. But this is only on certain items, so go check it out. But many of you guys are probably wondering, Antonio, where'd you get that suede jacket? JL Rocha. You got to love it when you work with a company that owns the factory, a guy that's willing to, right now we're testing these out and uh, let me know. What do you think of the jacket? What do you think of the shoes? Have you been to their website? Guys, that's it. Hopefully you learned something in this video and I would love to hear from you down in the comments. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.